and that's actually a big focus for us this year now, is really focusing on underrepresented minorities and taking this similar kind of approach that we did of looking at like what are the numbers and try, making sure that we're tracking them over time to see that what we're doing is making a difference. Um, many of the processes that we changed for improving the number of women around, in terms of the interview process itself, we believe are transferable. So um, a couple things, I, I can speak to some of the changes that we made, which might be helpful to the audience as well. Um, we looked at uh, our, basically seeing like, we have 30% of our applicants are female. Um, we noticed that the very first step in the recruiting funnel was this take-home data challenge. So we would send candidates data from Airbnb, ask them to do a little bit of an analytical challenge, and then send it back to us. And then we would grade it and decide whether or not that candidate would make it to the next step. Um, and the grading rubric that we had was actually a little bit like fuzzy. Like we were like, oh, look at their, anal their analysis, look at the data visualization, see if it's good and then move the person along and it wasn't really very uh, clear and objective and so one of the changes that we made was to say like you know instead of more high level uh, grading we said like you know make it really clear so did this person uh, remove the duplicates in the data for example like did they you know make find this answer um, and so that actually we found was pretty powerful for helping to make this process a little more uniform and clear for yeah. graders about yeah. what to look at. It, it sounds like unconscious biases were playing um, were playing a part and it's totally possible yeah so really thinking about how we could uh, make it uh, more streamlined for the graders so that you know it was not necessarily left up to discretion in the same way about how to decide whether or not someone should make it through. Um, and I think the other check change that we made that should probably resonate with this room is thinking about the on-site interview process as well and um, thinking about the composition of the interviewers and the type of experience you're providing for candidates. Um, one thing that we realized is that in our on-site process, we again had a more applied on-site where people would come in and work with our data and then present at the end of the day. And we realized that um, in the presentation at the end of the day, because our, da our data science team was already quite skewed to have much, many more men, the audience was often all men. Right? And so you know, a female candidate might come in and then present, and it was a little bit intimidating to be facing this audience of all men. Um, and you know, one thing that was proposed was like, okay, why don't we just have one woman in the room, right? But what we realized is that like that really wasn't going to be enough. We wanted to make it feel really welcoming. Let's have a really diverse audience, as diverse as we possibly could, and ensure that at least 50% of the audience was female. Um, the other thing that we did was to support the candidate more throughout the day. So we had a buddy on site who would have breakfast with the candidate, uh, be sitting next to them during the day to answer questions, and then be in the presentation so that they had like a friendly face in the room to just really try and make the process as welcoming and inviting as possible for our candidates. And do you, do you see this scaling company-wide at Airbnb, this sort of 